Greetings, we'll cover a few details about, Enrico Fermi in his life in a succinct manner. Here is a short rundown of his early years, education, career, persona, notable works, accolades, legacy and demise. The world's first nuclear reactor, the Chicago Pile, 1, was built by Italian physicist, Enrico Fermi. Both the architect of the nuclear age and the architect of the atomic bomb have been used to describe him. He was one of the very few physicists who was excellent in both experimental and theoretical physics. Known as Enrico Fermi, famous as Italian physicist, Nobel laureate and creator of the world's first nuclear reactor. Born September 29, 1901, Rome, Italy. Died November 28, 1954, Chicago, Illinois, United States. Father, Alberto Fermi. Mother, Ida de Gattas. Siblings, Maria, Giulio. Spouse, Laura Fermi. Children, Nella Fermi, Giulio Fermi. Education, Scuola Normale Superior of Pisa. From a young age, he and his brother both, had a penchant for science. The boys used to construct electric motors, together and play with electrical toys. Sadly, his brother passed away, when he was just in his teens. A book named Elementarum Physicae Mathematici, which encompassed mathematics, astronomy, mechanics, and acoustics, was where he learned the majority of his physics, as a young lad. His father's acquaintance sent him numerous books on physics and mathematics, because she knew he was interested in the subject. He applied to the Scuola Norma Superior in Pisa, after finishing high school in 1918. Fermi took part in a challenging entrance exam for the institute, and his essay on partial differential equations earned him first place and swift admission to the PhD program. He first decided to major in mathematics, but then changed to physics. He made acquaintances with Franco Rossetti, a fellow student at the institute who would eventually work with Fermi, during his time there. Fermi proved to be such an exceptional student that Luigi Puccianti, the head of the physics laboratory, invited him to plan courses on quantum physics. In 1922, he received his doctorate in physics. He received an Italian government scholarship in 1923, and attended the University of Göttingen to study under Professor Max Born, where he met Werner Heisenberg and Pasqual Jordan. After receiving a Rockefeller Fellowship in 1924, he relocated to South Holland, the Dutch province of Leiden, to work with P. Aaron Fest. When he came back to Italy in 1924, the University of Florence hired him, as a lecturer in mathematical physics and mechanics, a position he retained for the following two years. In 1927, he was hired to be a professor, at Rome Sapienza University. The idea for this new chair came from Professor Orso Mario Corbino, who wanted to improve the caliber of physics in Italy. Corbino helped Fermi assemble, his group of aspiring physicists. They attracted bright pupils like Emilio Segre, Ettore Majorana, and Eduardo Amaldi, as well as his longtime friend Franco Rossetti, who was hired as his assistant. Fermi and his colleagues collaborated to perform research on numerous applied and theoretical facets of physics. He authored Introduction to Atomic Physics in 1928, which later became a useful text for Italian university students. He gave a number of public speeches to advance physics because he was so passionate about the subject. His notoriety quickly spread throughout the world, and foreign students soon began to come to Italy to study. One of them was the aspiring German physicist Hans Bethe. He was working on the idea of beta decay, a sort of radioactive decay, along with other physicists. By 1934, he had significantly advanced the beta decay theory and contributed to this field, leading to the discovery of slow neutrons. His main motivation for leaving Italy in 1938, was to avoid the fascists there. He was presented with a number of job opportunities in the US, but he decided to accept a position, as a professor at Columbia University, where he worked until 1942. 
He was named a professor at the University of Chicago's Institute of Nuclear Studies in 1944, where he remained for the remainder of his life, after becoming an American citizen. In 1928, he wed Laura Capon. She was an Italian-American author and political activist, who became naturalized and enrolled, at the University of Rome studying science. Two kids were born to the couple. He is well known for his research, on induced radioactivity, which is when a substance that was previously stable, becomes radioactive as a result of exposure, to a certain radiation. He oversaw, the start of the first artificial self-sustaining nuclear chain, reaction in Chicago Pile, one in December 1942. For, his demonstrations of the existence of new radioactive elements, produced by neutron irradiation, and for his related discoveries of nuclear processes, brought about by slow neutrons, he received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1938. For his great contributions to the knowledge of the electrical structure of matter, his work in quantum theory, and his experimental studies of the neutron, he was given the Hughes Medal in 1942. In honor of his work on cosmic rays, the Fermilab Particle Accelerator and Physics Lab in Batavia, Illinois, was dubbed in his honor in 1974. In 2008, the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, was also given his name. The Enrico Fermi Nuclear Power Plant, at Trino Versailles in Italy, the Fermi 1 and Fermi 2 Nuclear Power Stations in Newport, Michigan, and the RA-1 Enrico Fermi Research Reactor, in Argentina all bear his name. Fermium was the name given, to an artificial element created from the remains of the 1952, Ivy Mike nuclear test in recognition of Fermi's contributions to science. He is now one of the 16 scientists, whose names are on elements. The Fermi Award, the highest accolade bestowed, by the United States Atomic Energy Commission, bears his name and has been given since 1956. Otto Hahn, Robert Oppenheimer, Edward Teller, and Hans Bethe, were among the honorees. In October 1954, Fermi underwent what was referred to as a exploratory procedure at Billings Memorial Hospital and then left for his home. He passed away from stomach cancer at his Chicago home 50 days later. Samuel K. Allison, Emilio Segre, and Herbert L. Anderson, along with other colleagues, spoke at a memorial service conducted at the University of Chicago Chapel to express their condolences for the passing. His remains were laid to rest in Oakwood Cemetery, where a private funeral service for his close family was conducted, under the direction of a Lutheran preacher.